Before watching this video, please be sure to have watched our previous rhythm video lessons, especially measures and time signatures and note and rest durations. In 4-4 four, four time, there are four quarter notes per measure and a single quarter note equals one beat. Writing in the counts of the beat below the appropriate symbols shows where the beat falls within the measure. Because a half note takes up two counts, we need to understand which beats of the measure it takes up. The first half note occurs during beats one and two, and the second half note occurs during beats three and four. We use a large number to show the start of the note and a smaller number to show other beats during the note. Here are some other examples. We count other time signatures previously discussed using the exact same methods. Eighth notes and rests are each worth half of one count. We break one beat into two parts, giving the first part the count number and the second part the and. Here we are showing the many different ways eighth notes can appear in music, but all are counted the same way. Sixteenth notes and rests are each worth a fourth of one count. We break the beat into four parts, giving the first part the count number, second part the E, third part the AND, and the fourth part the UH. Here we are showing the many different ways sixteenth notes can appear in music, but all are counted the same way. An important relationship between eighth notes and sixteenth notes is the subdivision of the count number and the AND occur at the same time, regardless of what type of note is being used. This is especially helpful when counting different combinations of eighth notes and sixteenth notes in a single beat. While performing a rhythm like this, it is essential to keep the subdivided sixteenth pulse in your mind. This concept of subdivision is explored more in shorter note durations and more complex time signatures. Now that we've learned all the different ways of counting rhythm, let's work through this summative example together. We are in 6-4 time, so six quarter notes per measure. The half note will receive two counts, so let's write a big one and a small two. The quarter rest receives one count, so let's give it count three. The eighth notes each get half of a count, so they'll get four and. The sixteenths each get a fourth of a count, so we'll give them five e and a. Uh. And the last one here is sixteenth note, eighth rest, sixteenth note. The sixteenth note will get count six. The eighth rest will get the e. And if it helps, you can write in the subdivisions the eighth rest will take up, like we did with half and whole notes, so we can put a small and next to it. And finally, this last sixteenth note will get the uh. For these exercises, we wrote in the counts underneath the rhythms to show understanding. However, when performing rhythms, we need to be thinking these things. While performing rhythms, our mind needs to keep track of the steady beat and what count of the measure we are on. This definitely takes time and practice, so be patient with yourself as you learn this skill. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos.